In this tutorial, I'm going to create a simple water glass in Wings 3D. It'll be a, a simple bowl with a long stem and a base. First thing I'm going to do is just click this button right here and remove the grid on my stage just to get out of the way. I'm going to leave these uh, um, vertex lines here. Uh, in order for me to uh, see where I am in space, X, Y, Z. So the first thing I'll do is right click on the stage and I'm going to click on cylinder. So I'll left click on cylinder, create a cylinder. I'm going to press the wheel on my mouse and then let go. And as I move my mouse around, uh, I can rotate around my uh, primitive and I'm just going to rotate it so I can see the base. I want that bottom face and I'm going to select it, left clicking, and then I'm going to right click off of it and go extrude. Normal. And I'm just going to move my mouse to the right and extrude this down a distance, something like that. And then left click to stop the procedure. And then I'm going to right click and scale uniform. So I'll left click and then let go and then move my mouse to the left in order to scale this down so that I can see that I'm going to create a small stem off of that face eventually. I'm going to hit the space bar and deselect that face and now I'm going to click the edge tool and click on an edge, that one right there. I'm going to select all the similar edges by going up to select, similar, or hit I on the keyboard. And now I've got all of those faces, or edges, pardon me, selected. I'm going to cut them in half, or cut them into five line segments so that I get more faces on my glass. So I will right click. I'm going to go to cut and then cut five, left click. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five line segments. And now I need to connect these vertices together by right clicking on the stage, going down to connect or C on the keyboard. And that connects them all, just like that. And then what I need to do is grab this vertex or vertices and this one as well uh, by clicking my vertex tool and capturing the rest of those. I'm not worried too much about the bottom right now, just these ones right here. And I'm going to right click and go to tighten in order to get a little more of a curve to my glass. Uh, and I'm moving the mouse to the right, something like that. And then I'll left click to stop the procedure. Yep, that's pretty good. And then I'll simply hit the space bar to deselect all of these vertices. And then I'll grab my face tool. And I'm just going to rotate by middle clicking the mouse and moving my mouse up so I see the top face. And I'll select that top face. Now I'm going to basically dig out the inside of my uh, glass. And I do that by selecting that face and then right clicking, going to intrude. And I'm going to move my mouse to the right a little bit. And you can see what's happening here. There is some thickness to the wall of my bowl. I don't want very much thickness, but I don't want it to be like so thin that it's, that it's going to just shatter on me but I want some thickness, but not too much. So once I'm happy with that positioning, I'll left click on the stage and that will stop the procedure. And then I'll hit the space bar again to deselect all of the faces on the inside of my bowl. And then I'm gonna grab that bottom face right there and I will extrude that out. But before I extrude it out, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit and I'll zoom out by rolling the wheel on my mouse. So I'll roll it towards me and that will zoom out a little bit so I get some distance here. And now I'll right click, extrude, normal, 
and I move my mouse to the right and I'll extrude out a stem. Now I want to do this proportionally. I don't want a stem that's way too long or one that's too short. So something about like that would be good. And then I'm going to start with the base. I'm going to start with the base. But before I do that, I'm going to hit A on the keyboard. A on the keyboard is going to aim that face to the center of my stage. So I'll hit A on the keyboard. And now you can see that that face is right in the center of my stage. And now I can work with this a little bit easier. I will right click, extrude, normal, and I'm going to extrude this out twice. So I'll extrude it out once and then scale it. So left click to stop the procedure, right click, scale uniform, and I'll scale out a base, something like that. And then I'll right click, extrude again, normal, move my mouse to the right, left click to stop the procedure, right click to scale uniform, and move my mouse to the right again. There we go. So there's my water glass. Not too bad. Now, one last thing that I want to do, and that is to bevel. And I'm just going to roll my mouse in so you can see this quite clearly. I'm going to bevel this edge right here. And one way is to get the edge tool, select that edge, and then I'm going to go, sorry, not right click. I'm going to go up here to go select similar and select all of those edges. I could also select that edge and go up to se uh, select and go to edge loop or L on the keyboard. That didn't work. Isn't that interesting? It should have worked. We'll go back with select similar. And what I'm going to do is bevel. So I'll just zoom in again and I'm going to right click and I'm going to go down here to bevel and I'm going to bevel. I'm going to move my mouse to the right ever so slightly. I don't want a big bevel. I just want a very slight bevel. And what that is going to do is it's going to keep my base nice and flat. I will deselect. I'm going to maybe select one of these faces and hit A on the keyboard so that I can get a better view of my water glass. There it is right there. I'm going to do a shift tab that'll smooth out my bowl. Notice that the base is nice and flat. That's because I beveled it. I'm going to do a shift tab again. and This time I'm going to go in here to this edge. Will L work for me this time? L works fine for me. It looped that edge. Can you see it right there? It looped that edge. And I'm going to actually bevel this one as well. So I'm just going to zoom in so you can see this clearly. I'll right click, go to bevel, and I'm just going to bevel it. Not a whole bunch, just a little bit. Something like that. Left click. And now what's going to happen when I hit shift tab is that there's going to be a sharper edge there. It's not going to be as curved like you'll notice down here. It's quite a bit of a curve. This one is more of a hard edge, which is what I want. There we go. So there is a simple water glass.